just up the road here, on the right. I'm in Wife, a little village on the outskirts of Deal and Sandwich. This was the location, roughly, of where the hire car that Alex Holland had parked, or somebody had parked. So this was the location that the car was seen, there was nothing to confirm that Alex was seen in this area, other than a hire car. Um, it would appear that he had crashed his car some days before and given the hire car, and the hire car was parked along this road. So when the police investigated, um, houses here but apparently there was no ring doorbell evidence um, not even showing the car uh, I could be incorrect about that but nothing was ever disclosed um, Alex had split up with his wife he had three kids now, Statements and other information shows that days prior to this, um, he'd been parking down this road and harassing his estranged wife. Um, there's nothing to corroborate that. Um, as such, I believe there was police incident filed, excuse me, let's make sure I've locked the van, now the distance from where he had parked the car on the night that he disappeared was definitely roughly around here, uh, I can't be exact um, other than showing the photo of the hire car. So these on the left are houses, if he did, walk down there, um, but he wouldn't have passed. Oh, I don't think there was anything ever stated that anybody had seen anything in the area. police did knock um, on the houses or appeal to people generally for any evidence or any ring doorbell footage um, so there's two houses there that I can see there was a further two down the bottom there so maybe like four ring doorbells maybe so, after he had disappeared, um, the air service was called in, so the air service searched the area around this location, so interestingly, where the car was parked along this road somewhere, <coughs> there was a slider found next to the car door. Um, his phone was still in the car, laying on the footwell of the car. Um, there's nothing to determine if the car had been locked or it is unlocked, I don't have that information. 
So this was where the car had stopped. Now bear in mind, there's, there's no there's no lighting along this road. Um, so if you imagine it, it like I don't know, one twelve, one two o'clock in the morning. It's it's pitch black along here, like literally pitch black. Um, now. There's many ways that I could kind of <clears throat> look at the situation objectively. Um, but I don't think that's really the point because anything that you looked at fact wise would, would be from a perspective of the person involved. So the, the wife, the wife would have a perspective on it, the husband would have a perspective on it. The disappearance of Alex Holland. Um, his parents would have a, a, a view on it. Um, I know at the time, um, I think he was missing for like three months before the body was discovered. A medium was involved. Um, I don't have an opinion on that. I, I really don't. Um, I understand that, that if you're looking for answers, maybe you would turn to um, turn to anything, spiritualism, oh, I don't know. Um, so anyway, we're, look, we're walking along this road because if Alex had that night the intention of seeing what his estranged wife was up to, um, this is where he would have walked that night or early hours in the morning um, so there is other information which I'll add in as we're going along um, thing, things documented uh, by the media and other sources um, so yeah so what I do know is on that night if he had come down there um, suspecting that his estranged wife was seeing somebody um, the, the well reports that he'd come down um, a couple of times and the police had to be called um, so I think all these areas around the back were searched by police dogs. There are photos that I'm going to put in, um, which <coughs> I don't know if they were used in the investigation or not. Um, but we're coming up to the house where he did reside. I don't think I'm going to show it, just because um, I, I don't want to invade somebody's um, home. But the house was along here where he initially lived with his wife before they split up. I'm Becky's dad, yeah. Well, I've actually come to speak to you. So you, you're saying I'm a murderer? Wow. The murderers usually come and knock on the door and try to speak to people, do they? Well, if you, if you would listen, then I would actually tell you. If you would listen, then I'd actually tell you why I'm here. Are you not interested in speaking, though? No? Are you not interested in speaking? Sorry? I, I can't hear you other than abuse. Well, that's part of your problem, I think, really, isn't it? 
Fair enough. Have a great day. So we're going to walk near, near the top of the road because the road bears some significance in in one aspect of, of the whole mystery um, surrounding Alex Holland's disappearance and sadly he's um, the, the day of the discovery of his body <clears throat> so when it was being investigated Um, there's, there's two ways that he could have come to this area if if he even drove the car here but there's nothing to um, there's nothing to suggest that he even drove the car here um, now I say that because if we look up the road here um, at the top of the road where the cars are going um, and I, will, I will go down there but down the road there is um, a pub horse and coaches I think it is I could be wrong but further along that road as you come out of Walmart deal there's an AMPR camera now the car was picked up coming through that AMPR camera however all the AMPR showed was that the car had come past the AMPR it didn't identify the person driving the car so <clears throat> now you're left with the point of do we assume that he drove the car down this road um, there are other factors in, in this as well um, some documented some not really documented um, I think it's safe to say that though he was working um, he was involved with um, how should we put it um, a lifestyle um, erratic um, involved with cocaine cocaine was found in his system um, cannabis or weed uh, whichever the terminology may be so there were these drugs in the system at the time that he was found I'm just going to turn around here for a minute so yeah now if he had come down this road and approached the house bearing in mind there's, there's, there's no light in there at all um, there was nobody in the house at the time um, uh, his wife was staying at a friend's house I believe in that direction in Sandwich which is not that far and come back in the early hours I think Um, apparently he'd gone out for a drink with friends and stayed. Um, however, now I don't know the exact location, but um, through, through a phone call, um, it was disclosed um, unknowingly, or not knowingly, where where his, his estranged wife was that night <clears throat> and during the police investigation um, it was noted um, I can't give an exact time scale but it was noted that Alex had gone up to his estranged wife's friends because he was sin in the morning I believe walking past the property so this is probably one of the last sightings on 
on video. To my knowledge, there was never anything recovered around this whole area, um, other than some footage from a garage from a third party. Um, the, the police didn't check these places. Um, a third party approached the places, asking if they did have footage. Um, it was reported to the police that it was footage um, from from that time period of when he would have left and the car come past because um, I don't believe there's anything that shows that 100% that I mean obviously he must have drove the car when he left his parents um, and we'll go there in a little bit well la later on uh, but I'll show I'll show the journey that he would have made um, to get from his parents to here. Now I can't show. Uh, brilliant. So my camera's overheating. I might have to take the cage off. So yeah, like I was saying, there is access around the back of that area. So you can actually get around the back. Um, to the property if you wanted to so it was established the car was parked down here um, there was no visual sightings other than um, when he had discovered where his wife was staying um, so yeah this, this was the last known, last known location of where the hire vehicle was parked and the slider by the side of the car. Um, there was a slider by the side of the car, a phone in the footwell, and from that night, um, there was never another sighting. Um, there were media appeals. Um, pre pretty late into the investigation, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> now because now I believe this is my own opinion it's, it's not factual it's purely from my perspective um, after a period of time um, medium was called in um, via Facebook um, I believe the parents one of the parents of Alex Holland um, a friend had suggested that they contact a medium um, Mary the medium I think her name is if I remember and she well I mean you could look for yourself and make up your own minds um, <clears throat> now she, she claimed that the body um, was in or near water it's a seaside. I mean, there's rivers and water everywhere, really. So, now I didn't know this. Um, <clears throat> near where the body was found. Um, now, I believed at the time, um, based on where the body was found, I thought at that time that you'd have to walk down the road through and I was like that's impossible so I've now discovered there's actually a path here and I don't know how far it goes because this is the first time I've ever walked down there um, but this path leads to where um, it was discovered um, by a dog walker I believe that's my understanding and I'll, I'll put in a timeline of the disappearance and when the body was discovered um, so we're just going to walk down there
think the camera's been overheating in the heat, so I took the cage off. <coughs> so, I spoke to a local lady, um, just when I parked up, and she said, um, she seemed to have quite a knowledge of the area. So there was two routes, this is one of them, um, so I didn't notice until she just told me. There's, there's just so many unanswered questions. It's like the pyramids. Um, when you think you've answered one question, um, another question arises. Probably not the greatest analogy. But yeah. So if he had come down here, or was brought down here, this possibly could have been one of the routes. So we're just going to walk it, and I'm going to be quiet. in the notes and she said when we come to the, the bottom here take a right There's no lighting. Um, <coughs> other than if there was any lighting from the buildings, which wouldn't be enough to light this route. Um, and it's winter time, so it's black, it's cold. Um, now, if he was wearing the sliders. one slide on. Um, and the reason I say that, um, and I don't know if it was a left or the right, if it was discovered, but for all intents and purposes, I'm going to take, uh, take the shoe off. And, um, try and walk. So, I mean, whether it be the left foot or the right foot, 
I'm, I'm hobbling, like there's no way I can walk on this gravel and you wouldn't be able to walk um, along the side of the path. Now the reason I say that is because way or forced um, can, can you rule out being forced I, I don't know but if there was um, I think it'd be safe to say that the body had been um, in the water for um, a length of time I don't think there was anything left of the face because of the micro bugs in in the river or the water. Now, I don't know. And there's a I believe this is like um a nature a nature place. I think all this area is. So I don't know. if if this leads into the river um, it's a bit hard to see on the maps what I do know is there is a pump house down here um, the main camera um, and the heat the camera keeps shutting down If 
though the terrain is the same um, in this climate like in the summer um, it would be the same in the winter obviously but um, it would be colder and most definitely more hostile in that sense because of the cold so there is never any explanation how the body was found there um, like I previously said um, a dog walker had discovered the body um, the body must have been here or or within an area of such I mean there's nothing to say that the body wasn't in one place and move to another place. I mean, it's not, it's a really, um, yeah, it's a really remote place. Now, the police did come. Now, that's the main road up there. You can see the cars in the, in the background. The police helicopter did check a radius of, of a mile from the location of his estranged wife's house. Now, I think it was a mile um, or, or a two mile square radius and they had dogs all along the back there. Um, well, you see where the houses are, that's the other side of where, where we would probably have been he was seen previous nights um, and the police had been called now I suppose you have to ask the question is if you have drugs in your system uh, your perception of this environment would be different no matter how little or <coughs> or how much you had in your system now I don't think you can actually go um, too much by the volume of cocaine um, and I believe it was um, cannabis and alcohol. Now, the toxicology report reported that the amounts um, were minimal and it wasn't a contributing factor um, well I mean they say it wasn't a contributing factor um, so you would have to well flies you would have to look at that from a different perspective because yeah okay maybe the drugs didn't kill you but doing the drugs and living the lifestyle that you were living um, obviously contributed to um, your final resting place um, but that's not to say that there wasn't um, at the time of the death now the, the time of the death can only be speculated by all accounts I think um, uh, other than Body, the body um, decaying. I mean, it sounds crude. But, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's a better terminology. Decomposition um, of the body. Um, now, I don't know if if the volume of drugs that you would have. Now, generally, certain drugs stay in the system. I think cannabis stays in the system for 28 days so <clears throat> I mean it was three months before his body was found so does that mean that um, he was still alive during this period um, did he just literally go off grid and disappear um, probably not because um, if, if he was involved in a lifestyle taking cocaine and other such like drugs um, 
words that you would need a source and I think from from the attention that it got at that time information she's given me um, I haven't seen the bridge yet she did say go to the right you'll come to a bridge I guess she didn't say how far the bridge was right enough so if this is the exact route walked alone with no light um, no I guess I guess really an advantage would be um, two scenarios if if there was a third party involved and there's nothing to indicate that there was um, the autopsy said there was no answer <clears throat> there were no signs of of um, violence on the body Covered, so maybe it would have been flowing with the river. Oh, yeah. 
interestingly, um, I, I think from the um, coroner's report there was no um, indication that, that it drowned um, because there was no water in the lungs as if you would have drowned if it makes sense. So that rules that out. Um, which is why it makes it a complete mystery. Um, obviously this got less less coverage than um, Nicola Bully case. Um, I mean that was mainstream media for whatever reason. If this is the building, then um, it, it would definitely make no sense because essentially all you're doing is um, you'd just be going into a loop. I think the main road's down that way somewhere. So all you'd be doing is going in a loop, nothing else.
So I don't know if it is this side or the other side. But the possibilities are infinite in the sense of this is definitely the area, 100%. But I don't know if it is this side or that side. Which way you could come? 